guess it's time for me, Ms. Appropriation de Funds, to give her exit interview. So y'all better listen up, sugar children, honey children. When I entered this competition 45 minutes ago, I had but one stratagem, go big or go home. Well, now it's looking more like go big and go home, so I guess you could say I done turned it it. Oh, Quanch! I have prepared a list of stuff I did that I stand by and am not sorry for. Number one, introducing myself to each queen by saying, bitch, you look like a trash can. Then pulling out a knife, licking it and saying, I'ma kill your family. No tea, no shade, all tea, all shade. I did not come here to make friends. I came here to make instant and lifelong nemesises. Number duh, as the French might say, refusing to participate in the main challenge in which we were to create sickening runway eleganza. Allow me to let y'all in on a little secret. I do not sew. Is every first challenge on RuPaul's Drag Race a sewing challenge? Yes, it is. Did I know that information going in? Why, yes, I did. Did I have eight months to learn how to sew that I instead used to create indelible catchphrases? You bet your $10 titty plate, sister soldier! Hi, <laughs> post quench! It'll catch on. Number three, leash qua. The lip sync for my life, well, well, well. Well, in order to impress the judges, I had a second outfit underneath my existing outfit, like so. to know that all four judges would simultaneously barf themselves. Plus, Carson Kressley just straight up died. That was weird. And the fourth thing that I, under no circumstances, will apologize for, this full-ass beard. I don't know, deal with it. 